Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. Today is the new day. We will be starting our new topic called moles. Okay, uh, moles actually means it is a name. It is the name of a specific number of things. Okay. For example, if I say you have a dozen of apples. It means 12 apples, okay? And uh, if I say you have a dozen of bars, chocolate bars, you have 12 bars. So from this, we conclude that dozen means, what dozen means? 12 number of any things. 12 number of any things, okay? So it is a name of 12 things from this we turn on to moles okay now simply similarly mole is a name of 602 hexalion things so if I say you have a mole of um, anything a mole of bars you have 602 hexalion chocolate bars now that's a gigantic number such a gigantic number you have of bars and uh, if I say you have a mole of bananas you have 602 hexalion bananas so from this we concluded that mole is a name of how many things 602 hexalion things it's a name actually okay so 602 actually means 602 yeah that's a 602 hexalion so instead of writing those zeros, those much zeros and wasting our time, so we will be writing in a standard form. Let's see. Let me tell you how to write in a standard form. First, we will be looking where is actually a decimal place. A decimal. So here is a decimal and we would be going on the left side to convert it into a standard form so 1 2 3 and 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 and 23 as a single digit number would be between 1 and 9 so not smaller or not bigger than that so we will be putting 6.02 okay 6.02 multiply by how many zeros we went it went 23 zeros so it would be 6.02 multiply by 10 to the power 23 things so we can now say that mole is the name of this much things moving on moving on now if i say let's turn on to a dozen if you got five dozen of apples if you got five dozen of apples it means you have 60 apples now how I'm saying that you have five dozen okay so let's from let's start from the beginning let's say what is actually a dozen one dozen is 12 things 12 apples and you have five dozen so we would be doing cross multiplication five multiplied by 12 our answer would be 60 apples Okay, moving on now turning on to moles if you have one mole of eggs that means you have 602 hexalion eggs so we will be adding in a short form or a standard form you can call it 6.02 multiply by 10 the power 23 eggs from now on let's move on to another step if you got three moles of sand particles if you got 
3 moles of sand particles. How many moles of sand particles do you have? Now simply as I did just now that you have 5 resin so now I am doing 3 moles so 1 mole you know that 1 mole is 6.02 multiplied by 10 to the power 23 sand particles now you have 3 moles so this would be x and uh, we would be multiplying through cross multiplication and 3 multiplied by 6.02 multiplied by 10 to the power 23 sand particles would be giving our final result whatever would be that moving on from this theory we formulated our first formula of moles and that is mole is equal to amount of things divided by the Avogadro constant now that's a new word which I just used now let me tell you what is Avogadro constant actually this whole number 6.02 multiplied by 10 divided by 23 is actually called Avogadro constant or Avogadro number why Avogadro is actually basically um, is an it was a name of a scientist of an Italian scientist who formulated the mole theory and uh, uh, from the basis of that person uh, we are now calling it as Avogadro constant or Avogadro number so our first formula would be mole is equal to amount of things it can be anything divided by 6.02 n uh, I, I, I will simply say Avogadro constant okay now moving on moving on just like we did in previous examples if you have 36 eggs now you have now 36 eggs so you have three dozen now I have to prove that if you have 36 eggs does do you really have three dozen how let's use the first formula which I just told you instead of writing mole I would be writing dozen dozen is equal to amount of substance or in this question we have eggs so we will be writing eggs divide by the value of the uh, dozen as I, as I did write the value of moles so here I will be writing a value of dozen which is 12 simply so dozen is equal to amount of eggs how many eggs we have we have 36 eggs divided by 12 how many dozen you have you will be getting three dozen of eggs so like this we will be calculating our first answer now moving on to a next step a next bigger step okay you have this much molecules of co2 co2 simply means carbon dioxide which you which you already know 310 to the power 25 molecules well that's a huge and gigantic number of uh, molecules of co2 so the question asks for how many moles do it have simply we will be writing our first formula mole is equal to amount of molecules instead of writing mm, things here I will be writing molecules because we have molecules here uh, mole is equal to amount of molecules divided by the Avogadro constant which is this huge number so how many molecules I have I have 3 multiplied by 10 to the power 25 molecules divided by just a second it hangs out 5 molecules of uh, CO2 and uh, divide by the Avogadro constant which is 6.02 multiplied by 10 to the power 23 and uh, whatever answer we would be getting by the division of these two numbers uh, likewise uh, let me explain one thing if we have simply 12 kilograms so we will write 12 kg this is a unit okay so instead of writing uh, M O L E S whole spelling M moles. So instead of writing this whole spelling, we would be writing M O L. Okay, and our unit symbol would be N. N means moles. Okay, so N is equal to uh, the answer, and our answer is name unit name would be M O L, which is mean moles. Okay. So in this lecture students we discussed and uh, I introduced you what is actually 
means when you are saying moles it simply means 602 hexillion things when you say one mole as it is a, just a name as a dozen is uh, of 12 things and uh, we did some of the questions related to that and from that questions we derive our first formula that the, that was mole is equal to amount of things divided by the Avogadro constant Avogadro was an Italian scientist who discovered and who introduced this uh, this huge number uh, which is equal to one mole and uh, we uh, did some of the questions related to that and this was our last question of today so students i hope you understand it and uh, subscribe and like the video and uh, hope to see you soon uh, till then a laugh is and bye